Happy birthday, dear McKenna. <laughs> what kind of a girl has a pull apart cake? I don't know. Oh, me. <laughs> what kind of cake is it? Pull apart bread or monkey monkey bread? Monkey bread. monkey bread. monkey bread. It's like cut biscuits dipped in cinnamon and sugar, put into a butt pan, poured butter. butter, caramelized butter. Other than that, it's low cal, great for you. Feels like a scalloped plate. That's pretty low. Is it a basketball? No. Is this for our day? Wait, what? <gasps> She did not. What is it? Is it this light we fought over? It is. Why? How did I try to get it? I tried to buy the first one so I could give it to you. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> you got so mad at me. We, my mom and I, almost had World War Three. So we were in a thrift store. We were in Ingram. And we passed this light and it was sitting on a couch. So we didn't really know what it was. And I was like, and I it? said, look at this. No, is this no, when no, you guys no, were, no, no. this is when you guys were going, you guys going at it in the car because of this? Yes. That one time in the back? Oh. <laughs> so I was like, but it would be really cool painted a different color because it would have just like texture. I said, would it be pretty painted white? No. Oh, oh, she loved it. Let's do it. But I never picked it up, so I just glazed over. I just walked on. I come back around. She's plugged in the light, and she's like, "Look, look at this light!" And then I realized that it has this pull on it. I well, said, and then I was I'm really upset. I was, and then she was just showing off this light in my face. I said, look, I lit it up. Look, I lit it up. Look, it's so pretty. I'm like, she's really just a taking over my style and we are going to be in competition now every time we go to the thrift store. That's store. exactly what you said. I know. You said, I like it I better and I didn't like the same things. I said, <laughs> <laughs> you even said, that will not go in your French country house. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I, get I said, I just think that you need to have perspective on the styles <laughs> and no. there's a lot between the two and this is more my style than yours. Oh. Do you know how hard it was for me to keep that? I style? can't believe you did it because I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been that mad. Did you really think that I would take that from you and keep it? I thought you were really gonna try and fit it into your French What was house. really funny was I put it in your shed. <laughs> That's funny. She's really pressing me. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you haven't noticed or you haven't gathered, it's my birthday. Well, technically it's my birthday tomorrow, but we're celebrating tonight because we're actually going to a place tomorrow that you guys have been telling me to go thrift shop at. You're like, go to Gonzales. Gonzales, Gonzales, Gonzales. I, all I've heard is Gonzales, and it's about an hour and 45 minutes away, so we're gonna head there tomorrow. So when she found this little scallop shaped plate, she thought it might be really similar to this one that I loved, that I found at a thrift store in Ingram. Pretty darn close, it's just not the exact pattern, but I mean, we like a little mix, a little eclectic situation. Yeah. A mid-century modern light it has this pull here. It was $10, but I don't know if it was on sale that day. Oh, so cool. Oh, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it has a pull. <gasps> Obsessed. But obviously we don't want it green. They're all pretty expensive too. $525, $300. These cool lamps here. It's like, what is that called? Vinyl, Dad said? Vinyl, like the... Lawn chair. Yeah, vinyl webbing. Vinyl webbing. These are definitely gonna be cool as like big pendant lights. I was thinking on the back patio at the cottage, you know, doing them in a really rich, dark brown with lights, you know, down the patio. I'm doing something fun this weekend. You'll find out soon. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. It's my birthday. I've always gone like over the top for like birthdays and stuff for other people. I just think that it's like your day and you should be celebrated. Don't you love birthdays? I love your birthday. I'm older and you're not? Yeah. <laughs> um, so we are going to eat some lunch really quick. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. So for lunch, we're making Yucatan citrus chicken bowls. 
And you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code McKenna14 to get 14 free meals and free shipping. Because so, you guys should try this out. Oh, oh, oh. No. It is not a secret that we love HelloFresh. Everything from new delicious meals to all of the ingredients delivered straight to your door, which saves time, eliminates food waste, and eliminates the stress of figuring out what you want to eat or like borderline arguments that we would have about what you want to eat that night or that day. And I don't have to go to the grocery store, which is very exciting for me. Not only is it affordable with a flexible membership, but HelloFresh is committed to giving back. They donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020. We love it, my parents love it. We would not steer you guys wrong. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna14 for 14 free meals and free shipping. Mm. Yum. This is like a good lunch one. Oh wow. Mm. We're gonna eat and we're gonna head out to Gonzales. See what's out there. You guys have been recommending it so much. So I hope we find some stuff. Update, we've been driving for like an hour and like 15 minutes or so. My car has decided that it doesn't like the Texas heat and it's decided that no, the air conditioner is just going to stop for a little while while the car does, so the car doesn't overheat. I <laughs> am so, so I'm drenched right now <laughs> in the car. I'm taking like a champ right now. You really are taking like Ooh. a, you are glistening. Look at your back. You are done. Okay, found shade at a gas station. Let the car cool down. It's much better. It's working now. I think it's just a safety precaution of my car. Like, it, it doesn't want the car to overheat, so it shuts off the air conditioning. After a very hot and sweaty ride, I think we kind of messed up a little bit because some of them are closed on Wednesdays. Like this one, which is disappointing. Look at those little guys. Found one that's open. Let's see. I feel like I'm gonna find something really special or something somewhere. Look how sweet this lamp is. I love that. Look at this green. This is the green I always look for. Green glass bowl, three dollars. Four fifty. You usually find them for less than that. They're talking about ghosts. Ooh, guys. Five dollars. That's what I like to pay. Charlie Dickens. We're talking about ghosts at sightings and things that have happened in, in Gonzales. <laughs> He's starting to freak Romeo out. That's starting to freak me out. Oh, this one. I don't really think I'm looking for anything in particular. I feel like all the stuff that I want to find are like huge and not being not able to get back to the cottage. There's a tub. 25 two piece set for seven dollars. I love little brims like this. Six dollars. This is so cool. This one's pretty. Made in France. It's a cork. French pitcher with cooling core. Oh, that's cool. Thirty dollars. Oh, see, I would love something like this. Like this would be so cool in my DIY room, my studio. This would be gorgeous as an upper cabinet in the kitchen. But my ceilings, our ceilings are so tall. They're twelve foot. You know, wouldn't wouldn't be able to sit low enough. Like I love the latches that are like our house. It's two fifty. Ever since that lady was talking about ghosts, it's kind of like gotten me a little bit on edge. I don't know why. It's like an antique mall for sure. I feel like that's like kind of the pricing that it is. It's very like antique mall pricing. It's not as high as some of the antique mall price places that I've been to like especially in Comfort because Comfort's so known for coming in antique shopping. This is the store that you guys wanted me to come in. Discovery. They're on vacation until July 8th. But this is where they have like salvage stuff which is cool. They have stained glass lighting they have a lot of doors actually oh they have clawfoot tubs <laughs> i got caught in the rain oh my gosh you found a thrift store oh, yeah nifty turkey i don't know yeah let's go there because this is all antiques i don't i just like finding things that are antique at thrift stores at thrift store prices look at this little stool i love the shape of the legs we could recover it in some pretty fabric ten dollars i feel like that would be cute like outside of the like a tub or something or 
I don't know, where do you put a little stool like that? We made it back to San Antonio, and there's a place in San Antonio called The Pearl that everyone talks about, it's really nice. It has like really nice restaurants and maybe a little shopping or something. It's like historic. We're gonna meet my parents here for dinner for my birthday. I'm gonna start my weekend out right. Don't yeah. it up and it's it's down. I got a new book and it's worth the Good morning. <laughs> so early. It's actually not as early as we wanted it to be. Uh, we wanted to leave at 5 a.m. because we are going to Canton, which is the largest flea market in the world, which happens every first Monday of the month up by Dallas. So we have like a five hour drive, five and a half hours. I got this like crossbody fanny pack so that I didn't have, you know, like my purse and everything was in front of me and it's like we're gonna be there for three days. So we're gonna get on the road right now. We made it, we think. We had a map. So we are parked in the Westgate parking lot all the way in the back because we feel like this area here, the green is going to be our best bet to finding things that aren't too pricey or overpriced or more, you know, and they're not, they're not in the front. So we hope that we made a good decision. So know, let's see what we can find. Take a breath as we walk past the bridge into fun land. Fun land. <laughs> fun land. Oh, well shoot, yeah. That is so These are like oval. We have barely walked in. Prices are good. Just exploring, getting our bearings. If I had that, what would I have? It looked, oh, looks like some kind of, no. Does it just put something on it? No, I don't know. Isn't this a pretty mirror? That looks like simple French country. I don't like flowers. Oh, I see them, okay, yeah. See the Everything's a dollar here. And this, I want this for a dollar. This might be the prettiest coffee grinder I've ever seen. I see them sometimes and the coffee grinds fall in there. I think, I think it's a coffee grinder or a grinder in general. Or maybe you're going the other way, the righty, righty grind. It's so pretty, but $45. Wait, I love, look at it. It's a coffee grinder. That's cool. Isn't it cool? I'm kind of obsessed with it. I've never seen one this pretty. Normally they're just kind of basic and simple. Yeah. This one's very clean. $45. Well taken care of, Good and it's deal. just like gorgeous, and it has a handle. Uh, you guys, I've spent I spent forty six dollars uh, so far. Ten? Oh, I don't, I don't think I like it. Something about it, I don't. I like. was waiting for you. I was like, where is she? Where is she? Good. Look around. That white one's real pretty. <gasps> Look at the book stack. I love this stack. I love this stack. You guys. 15. 15, so yes. Mm -hmm. That one for 10 for sure. That's absurd. I want these. Would you buy me like that, You're welcome. Does it do it? No, yeah. But, I mean, if you don't use it, you guys, we got all these frames and the two stacks of books for 50 bucks. $50. Let's look right here. The last trail. That was kind of cowboyish. Look at all the stuff in here. I don't know, I have a good feeling about this booth. Ooh, I see glassware. Mm. It's a pretty eggplant color. I don't like the texture on it though, but the color is pretty. What color is that? What Looks eggplant. Eggplant? Mm? No? Yeah? Like Gray is pretty. Yeah. It looks like you. Good morning. <gasps> It's the next day. I don't even know if I mentioned this, but we're actually staying in Canton and flea market shopping for three days. So we got a hotel room here. Oh, we were so tired yesterday. 
I found even more good stuff yesterday. The vendors actually started to close earlier yesterday because it was the first day they're just getting in you know they're, they're gearing up um so we kind of head, headed back here got our hotel room but we're gonna be here for three days so you guys are gonna see a hopefully a very good big video over on my other channel of all the stuff that i find going through all of the pavilions it's six thousand vendors and i haven't been here since i was like 10 or 11 we used to i used to come with my mom a lot six thousand vendors and we did like 200 <laughs> crazy so stay tuned for another video it's not my birthday anymore i'm having fun so it, every day is my birthday ah, the air. you get the hotel room so cold my mom's so bad <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe here to the vlog if you're not already subscribed i'm about to get ready it's very early we gotta get there to get good parking so we can find some cool stuff for the cottage so i will see you guys again next week for another video bye guys say hello what do you think Kinch is doing? Huh? I think Kinch is missing us. Yeah. She's with her papa. She's with her papa. <laughs> Bye. Uh.